scientists have just revealed they've made a disturbing discovery. More than 80% of Americans ranging from both adults and children had a weed-killing chemical inside them, and further research shows that this chemical has a direct link to cancer. Scientists have called the results disturbing and concerning. The initial report was carried out by scientists working for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and they found that over 2,300 samples taken from a group of Americans which varied in ages in order to give the best representation of the general population, revealed they had glyphosate in their system. The majority of the participants ranged from 6 to 18 years old, with the scientists saying that the ingredients can be found in the herbicides. Alexis Temkin, toxicologist at the Environmental Working Group, said the following, Glyphosate is the most widely used herbicide in the country, Yet until now we had very little data on exposure. Children in the US are regularly exposed to this cancer-causing weed killer, and this is through the food they eat virtually every day. The company behind the product has been circulating these for several years now, even though researchers knew about the product, and labelled it as a product that causes cancer. The company didn't get away with this though, and was ordered to pay out over $10.9 billion in 2020. This was to settle thousands of US lawsuits who said they had cancer. Countless people came forward and said they wanted the company to be held accountable, and each lawsuit cost them in the region of $125,000. Under the agreement, it was revealed that the company had to pay out over $8.8 billion to $9.6 billion and a further $1.2 billion for future litigations. In March 2015, after a variety of tests had been conducted, researchers at the World Health Organization found that the herbicide was probably carcinogenic to humans. Scientists who worked on the data said that it was a horrifying discovery, and that high levels of the herbicide glyphosate had been detected in human samples for years but the CDC only recently picked up on the fact that the two could be linked. The company then tried to say that the products didn't cause cancer, but the United States Supreme Court rejected these claims, and ordered the company to pay out billions. Thousands of lawsuits came to light in June 2022. One story that made the news was that of Dwayne Johnson, a groundskeeper who had been working in California, but quickly went down with a terminal illness. After investigations were carried out, the results revealed that it was the weed killer chemical that gave him cancer, and he was awarded $289 million in August 2018. Leanne Shepard, professor at the University of Washington's Department of Environmental and Occupational Health Sciences, said the following about the recent discoveries. I expect that the realisation that most of us have glyphosate in our system will be disturbing to many people. Thanks to new research, we know that a large fraction of the population has it in them. Many people will be thinking about whether that includes them. Paul Mills, the lead researcher of the study, said that change was needed, and that there's an urgent need for a thorough examination of the impacts on human health further noting that glyphosate could be found in other food groups that were eaten by consumers. A worrying statistic is that 200 million pounds of glyphosate are used by US farmers in the United States, and this weed killer is used on crops such as corn and soybeans, with further studies showing that they're also used on non-genetically engineered crops such as oats and weeds, which are then being sent directly to consumers. Phil Landegrim worked for years at the CDC and the Environmental Protection Agency, but now directs the Programme for Global Public Health and the Common Good at Boston College, and he had this to say. People of all ages should be concerned, but I'm particularly concerned for children. Children are more heavily exposed to pesticides than adults, because pound for pound they drink more water, eat more food and breathe more air. Also, children have many years of future life where they can develop diseases with long incubation periods such as cancer. 
This is probably a concern with the herbicide glyphosate. The CDC said the following on their website. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in weed killer products such as Roundup. Glyphosate products are one of the most widely used weed killers worldwide in farms, and also in home gardens and lawns. These products contain glyphosate in combination with other ingredients. They help improve the absorption of glyphosate into the plant. Glyphosate-based formulations are easily bought in most stores. These products can have different combinations of other ingredients, or different concentrations of glyphosate. Glyphosate may get on unprotected skin and eyes when it's sprayed. You may breathe in glyphosate when you spray it onto plants. You may be exposed to very small amounts of glyphosate from food. Glyphosate has been associated with respiratory effects, including the lungs and nose, such as irritation in the nose or asthma in people using glyphosate products. Workers that use large amounts of glyphosate products for long periods of time may be more likely to develop respiratory effects. So what do you make of this recent announcement? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.